yeah. especially when things like is the team buying in? Yeah. Uh, what's your role in that? I mean, because because sometimes you make it clear when you're questioning the direction of this team. I mean, mm-hmm. culture's been a big topic this yeah. year. Like, where are you in in the buy-in to this current team? Saints running back Alvin Kamara has officially revealed the truth about him in the New Orleans Saints. Just a few days ago, it was reported that Alvin Kamara would be reporting to the Saints training camp, which was some pretty big news considering that nobody really knew if he was going to show up due to his contract negotiations. Some thought that he would be holding out or possibly holding in, but he showed up at training camp, he showed up at day one for the New Orleans Saints, and he participated in practice. And he looked pretty good out there for the New Orleans Saints. He was running pretty hard, full energy. He looked really good. But in the process of reporting the training camp and practicing and doing the press conferences, Alvin Kamara revealed the truth between him and the New Orleans Saints. The 29-year-old running back is currently looking for a contract extension from the New Orleans Saints considering that he's going into his last year basically of his contract. Technically, he has like two-ish years, but that second year, he's guaranteed like $25 million or something like that. And it's just basically written that he's going to be cut that season because he has no more guaranteed money. The Saints don't want to take that dead money cap hit or that cap hit in general. So this is essentially Alvin Kamara's last year under contract with the Saints. So both sides are looking to get a contract extension done. And the running back market went up this offseason. Joe Mixon got a pretty big deal from the Houston Texans. Saquon Barkley got a really big deal from the Philadelphia Eagles. And Christian McCaffrey got a huge contract extension, raised contract restructure from the San Francisco 49ers. And Derrick Henry got a big contract from the Baltimore Ravens after leaving the Tennessee Titans. So the running back market has significantly gone up since the last time Alvin Kamara was in need of a new contract. In the contract situation and talks became an issue for Alvin Kamara and the Saints when he held out and left the Saints practice facility on the last day of their minicamp about a month ago. He had been there for the first two days of minicamp and on that third day, he did the meetings, he did the walkthrough, and then after that he left, he didn't practice, he didn't participate, basically saying he wants to get paid and he might be holding out, which is why his appearance at training camp was so significant. But since Alvin Kamara left Saints minicamp in need of a new contract, not much has happened. The latest report on the situation is that the Saints and Alvin Kamara are not close to a new deal. If there hasn't been any movement from either side, chances are Alvin Kamara is looking for more guaranteed money and two more years on that contract with the Saints. I understand why they may not want to pay him. And given that there is no movement on a contract situation, this is why him appearing at the training camp facility for the Saints in Irvine, California was so huge. However, once it was reported that Alvin Kamara was at the Saints training camp facility in Irvine, California, he would post something on his story that left fans very conflicted. He posted a photo of him and Marshawn Lynch, and Marshawn Lynch has that famous quote saying, I'm here just so I won't get fined. I'm here so I won't get fined. Basically, Alvin Kamara could possibly be saying that he's only showing up to the Saints practice facility and training camp so he doesn't get fined. Then after Wednesday's practice, the first day of Saints training camp, Alvin Kamara compared the truth in his press conference. Basically, Alvin Kamara said he showed up so he wouldn't lose out on money when he's trying to, in fact, get more money on a contract extension. He also said he showed up because he didn't want to let down the team or his teammates, doesn't want to hurt them over negotiations with the front office. It's two separate things. Yeah, I ain't stupid. I ain't going to get the money up. I'm trying to get some money, right? So um, I was going to be here. I mean, and I'll be a fool to, to, to spite my teammates because of a dispute I'm having with upstairs, or I wouldn't even call it a dispute. We're just having conversations about compensation. When asked about the contract he's kind of looking for, is it for the future, is it for now? He said for the future, a two year deal or something like that. He said he's not looking for anything crazy. He's just looking for what he believes is fair. Nothing outlandish, nothing that's gonna break the market. Just for me to set the record, it's not. I'm not asking for nothing. I'm not asking for nothing crazy where it's like, oh my gosh, we can't do that. You know, well, that's in my perception of it. Whatever the perception is upstairs with whoever makes those decisions, um, it's obviously different than what my perception is. So. But while Alvin Kamara may see it as fair for him, the Saints may not see it that way. The Saints right now see an aging running back who hasn't been very productive over the last few years. A running back who's almost 30 years old. And typically paying aging running backs does not end well. And typically if you're a team that's close to winning a Super Bowl, then you pay the running backs. If you're a contender, having a high paid running back is a luxury, but if you're a team like the Saints, not close to winning a Super Bowl, not contending, 
paying a guy Alvin Kamara who's close to 30 years old at a position where you can easily replace the player, it isn't typically ideal or smart to do so. The Texans, Super Bowl contenders by far paid Mixon, the Ravens paid Henry, Eagles paid Saquon Barkley, the 49ers extended Christian McCaffrey, all those teams could be Super Bowl contenders. Having a high paid running back is a luxury and the Saints don't have that luxury to pay a 30 year old running back who could have aging running back syndrome. However though, Alva Kamara basically rebuttaled this in that same press conference by saying he doesn't feel like he has the running back aging syndrome. He said he feels great and could play another four to five years. Those meetings, but for me, it was obviously disappointing the two, the past two years I had. Um, and I don't want to, I'm not going to point fingers at what the, what it was or what, I just know I, I don't feel like I'm on a decline. I feel like I could play for four or five more years if I, if I want to, you know, if it goes there. But um now obviously Alvin Kamara is definitely not the same player he was in 2017. And over the last few years his production on the team has significantly dropped, but I don't think that's his fault. I think there's multiple factors that have played into his lack of production. Number 1, the offensive line has been pretty shitty over the last 3 years. Number 2, the offensive play calling has been terrible. The P. Carmichael, one of the worst offensive coordinators in the NFL, used him like Derrick Henry instead of Alvin Kamara. Kamara isn't a Derrick Henry type, he doesn't need to get 30 carries up the middle. He's someone you want to spread the ball around to. 5 carries and 7 catches, 7 carries and 5 catches. Get him involved other than just a typical running back like Derrick Henry. And now going into 2024, Alvin Kamara has a new offensive coordinator in Clint Kubiak from the San Francisco 49ers and he's hoping to definitely get utilized like Christian McCaffrey is in San Francisco. Alvin Kamara was very loud and critical of Pete Carmichael over the last two years and now he has a new offensive coordinator. In fact, when they hired Kubiak, he flew in to meet with him, have some meetings. So it seems he's very happy with this new offensive staff. Now he just needs the extension. He's mentioned multiple times that this new offensive system, everything has a purpose, has a lot of attention to detail, lots of new energy, good energy, and he's excited to be utilized much better. Yeah. Where are you in the, in the buy-in to this current team? Right Man, now? I, feel, I feel good. I think overall I feel good about where the team is going. I think it's some energy that we've been missing here um, the past two years. And then I just speak personally for offense. You know, we got a revamp with a new coaching staff. I mean, new offensive staff, right? And I think the guys on offense are kind of buying into that philosophy, buying into the vision. Um, you know, it's refreshing to have um, some 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 intentional help, right? Uh, and I think You've seen signs of that changing, though. Yeah, there's a different kind of account accountability, I think. Um, and I think like we, we've been when we've been good around here, it just it, it, it was just unspoken. When it comes to the negotiations, Kamara didn't have a lot of leverage until now. Second year running back Kendra Miller is now injured, someone who the Saints were going to likely be relying on to eventually replace Alvin Kamara. But Kendra Miller suffered a hamstring injury, pulled his hamstring literally on the first handoff he took in training camp. And after his rookie season was depleted by injuries the whole year. This is very disappointing and frustrating to start off his second season. And if Kendra Miller can't stay healthy, Jamal Williams is the really only other running back the Saints have. They have a few maybe camp bodies who could maybe be sneaky good players to make the roster, but right now Kamara is their number one guy. And if there isn't other running backs who can fill in this role, Kamara has leverage and the Saints might be forced to pay him. And Dennis Allen on Wednesday didn't seem too happy that Kendra Miller got injured. Maybe he was pissed off because he's someone that they are going to be relying on to replace Kamara as they're trying to get younger and save money, and he just can't stay healthy. Kendra's got a hamstring. Um, so, uh, look, that's a player that's going to have to figure out how to, how to, how to stay healthy because it's hard to make the team. Um, you know, when you're in the training room all the time. So this gives Alvin Kamara some more leverage in contract negotiations, but as to whether or not the Saints will budge, I don't know. They're a team that's trying to clean up the cap and get younger and paying a running back who's about to be 30 years old within a year just doesn't make any sense. And I would love to keep Alvin Kamara. He's a Saints legend, but at the same time, you want to pay him at the right price. And if he's not going to budge either, then I wouldn't pay him. You want to get it at the right price. You don't want to overpay for a 30 year old running back. But contract or not, Alvin Kamara said that he's going to play this season whether he signs an extension with the Saints or not. He said he's here, he's training, he's working with the team, he's with the team, he's going to be playing. So 
Either way, we're going to see what Alvin Kamara can do this season under this new offensive coordinator and Clint Kubiak and see does he have aging running back syndrome. And finally, I'll cap it off with this. Alvin Kamara said he wants to stay a Saint. He wants to retire a Saint. And this is where he wants to be. They just have to figure out the numbers in the contract situation. This year or looking ahead? Looking ahead. I mean, I and I've said it before, I want to be a Saint. You know what I'm saying? I want to retire here. If I got to play football somewhere else, I'll probably be somewhere with my feet kicked up in Africa somewhere or something like that. But If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more daily NFL content. Have a good one. Peace.